Hello everybody, thanks for joining me again. Today we're going to be talking about this kind of tape stop, slow down type effect. Here's a quick example of the type of effect I'm talking about. Typically when we use this type of effect, we're presented with a couple of issues. So just getting it to sound right can be quite difficult. And if you can get it to sound right, a big, big problem that it presents is that when we come out of this slowed down part and back into the regular tempo, a lot of the time our beats will be mismatched with the beats that were happening before the slow down effect, um, which doesn't matter that much for listening, but when it comes to DJing or analysing it in record box or whatever, uh, it's going to have problems. Or if you are mixing in a track and suddenly the timing has changed on one of the tracks you are mixing in. So the way that I found to get around this is a bit ugly, but it does work. So it's easiest to do with a full render of your track or just, you know, an audio render of the part of the track you want to do this with. You can do it with like all multiple channels of different sounds and stuff if you want more control, but it is a lot more awkward and time consuming. So anyways, to get it to work properly, this is what I've been doing. So we're going to start by getting three audio channels. Let's pretend this is just a part of a full track, this piece of audio, and you want to duplicate this onto the next channel. So on this first channel, we want to have it warped and we want to set it to re-pitch mode. On the second channel, we want it to be unwarped. Okay. And then what we're going to do on a third channel is set the input to this first channel. So in my case, it's channel nine, this sort of purple one. So it's listening to the warped re-pitch channel. Okay. So uh, we've got a point here where it changes and uh, like a hi-hat comes in. So the first thing to do now is decide how long we want this slow down effect to be. So let's say I want it to take this entire duration here. I'm going to just cut this so it's on its own and then get rid of the bits I don't need to clean up the project slightly. Okay, and then I'm going to cut off two quarter notes. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is I, I'm just finding it sounds most natural when I do it like that. You can cut off one, but it sounds a bit jolty usually. Um, so I'm suggesting either cut two quarter notes or an entire beat. Um, but let's go with two for now. And this will leave a little space after our slow down effect. And then the beat will kick back in. Okay, so now that we've done that, what we want to do is turn on automation, press A, and then go into the master, go mixer, song tempo, and then set the lower bound to you know as low as it'll go really, and then set the upper bound to the current tempo that your track is in. So this track is in 150, so I've got 20 to 150. So now I want to set a point at the beginning of this region at 150, and, and then I'm going to set another point, and it doesn't really matter where it goes because we're gonna to have to tweak it. So I'm just gonna put it here for the moment, and then I'm going to pull this down, and I want this region here to shrink by some sort of beat division. So depending on how many beat divisions it shrinks by, it's going to change how deep this slowdown effect goes. Perhaps let's go with around about three. We want to get the end of this to be as close to here as possible. Okay, for the purposes of this video, that's good enough for me. And now we will record from this channel here. So make sure it's armed and press record. Okay, so we can shut this down, 
to the same length as that region there, or the intended length. Then we can unwarp it, and we can disable our BPM automation. And now you may have to click on the region a couple times. Sometimes it kind of uh, has a weird time, but it'll stretch back out to the full length. And now we should have our slowdown effect. Cut this down and then put a little fade on it. And let's see how that sounds. Okay, so it kind of feels as though the beat sort of carries on, even though obviously the tempo is changing. And of course, our beats from back here are still in the same timing afterward. Okay, so it's quite a few different parameters here for you to play around with to get this sounding the way you want it to sound. But that is the main idea that I'm trying to get across. So yeah, anyhow, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you want to support the channel, you can find my Gumroad in the description beneath, where you can find my preset packs and sample packs. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time.